Oh, that's eerie. I had the same feeling. <laughs> My Aunt Gretchen in Fort Lauderdale died. Oh, oh honey, Rose. I'm sorry. Were you close to your Aunt Gretchen? No, I couldn't stand her. <laughs> Wait a minute, Rose. Honey, if you didn't like your aunt, then why are you so upset? Because I have to speak at her funeral. I'm terrified of speaking in front of people. It's my biggest fear in the world. Why can't somebody else speak? Good nursing looking. <laughs> it's a family tradition. It means the oldest niece has to give the eulogy. Well, not literally. Literally, it's a herring poacher you can wear as a sun visor. <laughs> the family got together and they decided that was close enough. Rose, I take it that no member of your family was ever a returning champion on Jeopardy. <laughs> supposed to speak at a funeral this afternoon and now I can't but I'd still like to give my speech if no one minds I, I wrote some things down but I just rather talk uh, the funeral was for my aunt Gretchen I didn't know her very well the only thing I remembered about her is she used to scare me <laughs> jumping out of my closet at night <laughs> putting false fangs in her mouth sometimes baying at the moon <laughs> Now her dying scares me. But there's a good part to being scared. You get to know who your friends are. They're the ones who help you not be scared. Maybe that's what Aunt Gretchen was trying to do all along. Help me not be scared. I think so. Goodbye, Aunt Gretchen. Take a seat, lady. This isn't the Copacabana. <laughs> Rose, that was beautiful. It was. It truly was. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Lord again. If you all look out the left side of our aircraft, it'll tip over. 